Tired of using Outlook? Yeah, don't worry. We found the best Outlook alternatives you should be using right now. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria and I'm one of the amazing content marketing specialists here at Mailbird. Now today, I'm gonna share with you the best Outlook alternatives that you should be using right now. And this video is a short and sweet version that's gonna go through these apps, why these apps made this list based on our research. If you want a more in-depth and detailed guide, we have an article on all of these apps in the description below, so feel free to click that as well. Now, let's begin. Now, when we were selecting these apps and researching them, we made sure that they covered the following features. One, price. Even though price isn't the only factor, it can be important based on what you do. Two, built-in features. Built-in features are important because you wanna make sure that if you're switching from Outlook, you're getting more than you bargained for. Three, integrations. Integrations are important, you especially if you're someone who lives in your inbox. Four, support. There's nothing worse than having an issue and not having anyone to help you. And last but not least is security. You wanna make sure that your information and the contents in your inbox are safe. These are the criteria that we've used to make sure that the apps listed here can help to meet your needs. Now, why does Mailbird stand out? It has filters and advanced search. It has 35 plus integrations and multiple email account support. Mailbird was developed specifically for Windows users in mind. Mailbird is one of the best email programs for managing multiple accounts in one place. Mailbird also supports IMAP and POP3 exchange accounts, which is helpful if you're somebody who's using an email app like Gmail, Yahoo, or even Outlook. Now, there are many built-in features and benefits when it comes to Mailbird, including a unified inbox where you can manage all your emails and contacts in one place, a unified calendar, sync all your email calendars so you're always in the know, a snooze feature so you can snooze less than urgent messages for later and focus on what's important. We also have a speed reader, go through emails quickly and more effectively. And we have a customizable layout. Add your personal touch with our customizable themes. Not to mention, Mailbird is adding new features, tools, and integrations every day because we want to make sure that our users have an amazing and seamless experience. Now, Mailbird allows you to integrate 35 plus integrations, which means that you don't have to worry about switching from tab to tab. You can have everything in one place. Some integrations include Asana, Facebook, LinkedIn, Trello, Evernote, and more. Now, Mailbird works as an email client on your computer, which means all your contacts, your emails, your data, and any of the sensitive information that you have are all stored only on your laptop. So no one has access to it but you. And last, but definitely not least, Mailbird offers support in 17 different languages. So no matter where you are or what language you speak, we offer top tier support to help you no matter which account you have and no matter what your issue is. We offer support through chat and through email as well. Now, Mailbird versus Outlook. There are fewer technical issues than Outlook. More intuitive setup for multiple accounts. A cleaner user interface and customizable layout wide variety of integrations for productivity. But the only thing is, we're currently not available for Mac, iOS, or Android. Next up is Thunderbird. This is the best free Outlook alternative that you can use. Now, why Thunderbird stands out? It's the most popular free alternative. It's easy to enhance with add-ons. It has end-to-end -end encryption. Thunderbird customers can also go through the extensive add-on library that Thunderbird offers since you have the flexibility to add so many different ads and apps to make your Thunderbird experience easier. Now, Thunderbird takes the security very seriously and it offers end-to-end -end encryption. The program does not display HTML images and it's also quick to note whenever there is a breach or whenever there could be a possibility of spam. Now, when it comes to the user experience and the interface of Thunderbird, it's very simple and sometimes a little bit clunky, so it can be a turnoff for some people. 
And Thunderbird does not offer support. It actually has a knowledge base or community where the users actually help other users when there's an issue. So if you're not very tech savvy, Thunderbird might not be the app for you. Thunderbird versus Outlook. Better for managing large files, more secure, no financial commitment, but less built-in features and more reliant on add-ons, which can slow down the software. Interface is less user-friendly and support service is unsubstantial at times. Next up is Spike, and this is the best Outlook alternative for mobile users. If you're someone that uses your phone to check your emails, send emails, respond to emails, then Spike is most likely the best Outlook alternative for you. Why Spike stands up? Great mobile UX, user experience, responsible disclosure program, designed for teamwork. So Spike is a modern day email client that presents your emails like instant messages. The most remarkable thing about Spike is that they keep their interface very tight so that teams can actually use this to communicate with each other, almost like an alternative for Slack. Now, Spike doesn't offer a lot of integration and add-on features, which can be a con if you're someone who needs those additional tools to help work around your emails. The only thing they really do offer integration with is your calendar, and it's kind of robust. Now, Spike shares their security auditing with their customers, and it also shares how they manage their privacy settings and secure the data within their email app with their customers. Now, Spike doesn't offer customer support, but they do have a resource page that helps you to manage through any technical issues you might have. Spike versus Outlook. It feels more like an instant messaging app. It's easier for group collaborations, more ways to connect with audio and video call options, but it's less robust calendar compared to Outlook. So last but not least is Spark. Spark is the best Outlook alternative for Mac users. Now, why Spark stands out? It integrates with 20 plus apps, it's free to start, and it provides savvy tools for teams. So Spark made our list because it had some really cool integrations, it's really top tier on team collaboration, and it's reasonably priced. And Spark allows you to sync your account across all devices. So whether you have Spark on your phone or Spark on your desktop, you know that the information and the activities are synced across the board. Spark also allows you to collaborate with a few team apps like Asana or Slack or Trello. Now, Spark has had some trouble with security in the past, especially when it comes to collecting customer data, but they have made an attempt to be very transparent about their data collection and privacy policies to help their users. Still, be sure to take precautions when you're using this app. Now, Spark provides priority support for business users and for others, they provide a resource page, but you can always feel free to email them if you have an issue. Now, Spark versus Outlook. Spark syncs across devices better than Outlook, easier integration with apps, better email forwarding, but it doesn't support POP3 and it's not available for Windows. There you have it, your top tier best Outlook alternatives that you should be using instead of Outlook. Now again, if you want more details on each of these apps, be sure to click the link in the description for an article that our team drafted together for you so that you can make the right decision going forward. Now, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and share it with someone you think who needs to hear it. And be sure videos like this every week and you can look out for our next video next week.